Rebecca Floyd, Solano County. I think voting for me is a way to make my voice heard. Um, you know, especially being able to do it when you're 18. There's, um, there's something really empowering about using your voice as a, when you're a youth and then being able to carry that into adulthood. The first time I voted, I was a senior in high school and it was 2004. I remember asking my dad a lot of questions. I remember asking my mom a lot of questions um, about the voting process and uh, politics. Uh, there wasn't really, I didn't really get a whole lot out of my civics and government um, classes and so really trying to understand that whole process in uh, reading the ballot and understanding, understanding the different measures, that was uh, something that I wasn't used to and we didn't get any uh, experience in that. So it was definitely a very steep learning curve and I felt not prepared for it at all. Um, so I was really grateful to have that open and honest conversations with some very trusted adults in my life. Life has definitely changed. When I voted for the first time, there wasn't social media. It didn't feel as uh, uh, volatile with politics. I vote because I do want, you know, I do want my voice heard. I want my input um, to be uh, taken into consideration. Um, I also feel like if you don't, um, if you don't vote and you're um, and you're not seeing the change that you want in your community, uh, you're a little bit at uh, that's a little bit of your own responsibility is to try to make that change by casting your vote. Uh, decisions happen for to the with when you show up and so if you want change to happen you have to show up and part of showing up is voting. Voting acts for 1965 it's all of our responsibilities because everyone has the right to vote um, that is and it's regardless of race gender and socioeconomic status and it's all of our responsibilities to make sure that everyone has that right.